What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Wisconsin? Hey, nerdlings. Kevin Elder here, and you're watching everybody's favorite couple on YouTube. Do you nerd? Hello, I am Tom, this is the lovely Lady Lacey, and this is a Do You Nerd, where we talk about all the things that we nerd out about, whether it's video games, comic books, toys, plushies, movies, television, music, if we could, but copyright strikes kind of put a stop to all of that. And traveling. Yes, absolutely. Hey, we are not afraid to travel. We went to Midwest Gaming Classic up in Milwaukee, about a nine hour drive but you did not shy away from that. Nope, nope, super easy drive. Nice straight shot through Illinois, right up there into Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah, it, it was a very straight shot through <laughs> Illinois. Hey, hey, the highway we took, there wasn't much to it's see. It's funny, I always thought Kansas was a flat state, but I was <laughs> like, this is pretty flat. I can see pretty far. What a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend. I mean, the yes. weather was great in Milwaukee. Which we didn't expect, because yeah, we were we thinking thought, it's November, it's Wisconsin, you're by older. the bay. Yeah, it was like in the 60s the whole time. We were like, okay. <laughs> well, we made it into town Thursday night. We met up with our buddy Sean, 8BitGlitch79. Please check him out. There will be a link in the description below, of course. What's going on, guys? 8BitGlitch79 here. Where the hell am I? I'm in Milwaukee. He got into town a little earlier than we did. Uh, he, uh, he got lost within the city. He just loved it so much. <laughs> But he's got a great video out showing some fantastic b-roll please check that out as well we had dinner with him at the pub that was something that was very nice about the hilton that we stayed at uh it, the, the hilton itself was, it was gorgeous, gorgeous on hilton. the inside yes. it was really really pretty and it was so handy having this nice little pub right in there prices were good portion was good they had some nice drinks and they had cheese curds, fried oh, cheese oh, curds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we went nuts on the cheese curds. <laughs> anywhere, the anytime we were anywhere that had fried cheese curds, we got them. Uh, I mean, hey, when in Wisconsin. <laughs> hey, yo, Winston, you want a cheese curd? You built like a cheese curd. The only problem with the hotel was, I don't know, some questionable decisions on their part yeah we're very very warm-blooded people yes. uh i won't lie we weren't too ecstatic about the fact that they had shut off the ac for the season for the entire hotel yeah which i'm usually under the impression i'm going to a hotel i'm paying to stay here <laughs> therefore i should be able to use as much air conditioning as i want and as much hot water as i want without having to pay a utility bill yeah that, that was kind of weird so i went down to the front desk to talk to him about it and i was informed this is Wisconsin. We don't have air conditioning. I was like, okay, that's odd. She goes, no, we turn it off for the whole hotel. Um, it's winter time now. And I was like, well, okay then, we'll, we'll just go with it. So they sent maintenance up to our room and they took a screw out of the window and allowed us to open the window about this much. And we basically just lived off of outside air for the whole weekend. <laughs> now, I know it sounds like a very first world problem to complain about. But as, as she said, you know, when you are paying to stay somewhere, if it had been a very cold weekend, as we expected, November and Wisconsin yeah. to be, that might have been a whole different story. But it was we like, might have been thankful yeah, for the heat. It was <laughs> like 60, 65 degrees the whole weekend. So everybody was walking around basically almost in shorts and a t-shirt. So that's why it was just a little odd. <laughs> now, to be fair... I mean, I don't know if he'll ever go into detail about it, but, uh, you know, we can complain about that. I think Sean had a little more rough <laughs> at times, but that, that's that's for him to share. <laughs> Speaking of, we did hit him up in his room later that evening. Plugged the Switch in, in, played some Switch yeah, games, had yeah. some fun. But Stop cheering me on! Those Genesis games to use, you know, <laughs> some Streets of Rage, so, so that was good. Let go of me. Don't you put your hands on me. I'm a, don't you do I'm a lady in a miniskirt. <laughs> the next day, Friday, we... We had some errands to run. We did. We ran over to Walmart, and uh, that was an adventure in and of its own, trying to navigate their highway system Oof. because it's like six lanes of traffic, exit to the left, then exit to the right, and I'm like, I'm supposed to cross six lanes of traffic? And I'm from Springfield, Missouri. We have two lanes of traffic. <laughs> 
so that was exciting. I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. But once we finally found Walmart, we went in and we were on a mission. Now, before we get into that mission, funny enough, this one's always got to check out the toys. I do. And she has a pickup for I do. Walmart. I do. I found Spider-Man Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had not seen this. Our Walmart does not have it, so I got super excited. I loved it because it's not only does it have my Spider-Gwen on it, but it also has silk. So how awesome is that? And it has tokens, like old school Monopoly, because they're starting to do it now with the little cardboard things. So I was super excited about that, and I said, I will always be Spider-Gwen. No one can ever be Spider-Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Of course, of course you'd find a pickup thing. I know. I can always find something to buy somewhere. Silk is the alter ego of teenager Cindy Moon. Hey. When that radioactive spider bit Peter Parker and gave him his powers, Ow. Cindy was there and got bit too. Ow! I mean, cool. She found a lovely Switch Joy-Con charger and i can't recall if we've ever even seen this at our store i not, haven't seen it at ours but uh it was too perfect to pass up on especially yeah. there because you know again we were playing games the night before so it holds four joy cons on there the wire is in the bottom yep. so it keeps it nice and compact and you don't lose your cord you can plug it in anytime so, yeah look at that don't even have to go to a convention to find pickups <laughs> Okay, so what was our mission? Our mission was to make a welcome sign for JLove81 and Linda Mustang because we were picking them up from the airport later that day. We picked up some lunch at Subway and sat at Subway, ate our lunch, and colored in a poster. I only helped a little bit. It was all her and Sean. They, they did such <laughs> Sean a great, drew it and then I colored did, things uh, in. But I mean, we needed Sean's steady hand. Yeah. So I, I tried to color it in. And I think I smeared some colors and <laughs> she told me, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> we found some fun stickers. So we found some Ninja Turtles. They didn't have horse stickers for Linda, but we got the next best thing and put some unicorn stickers on there. And then because they're always talking about Dunkin' Donuts, we put some donut stickers on there, so we just kind of made it fun and whimsical and everything like that. It was a, it was a whole lot of fun, and I've never been able to do that before. I've never been able to make a sign for somebody at an airport, so I was super oh, excited. Yeah, this one, her nerves were oh, shocked. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. Yes. <laughs> this one has her sign all ready to go, but also has butterflies and is so nervous and so excited. <laughs> is she over there? Is she over there? Is she over there? Over there? Seriously. Back over there? Over there? <laughs> and I will say, the one nice thing about the entire convention was Jen, Linda, and I were stuck to each other like glue. We were the three musketeers. And that's what you want when you meet up with your friends again. You want to just like do everything together, hang out together, and just giggle <laughs> about everything. <laughs> when we did pick up Jen after we did hugs all around, Jen had something for us, didn't she? She did. She had some fun little pieces. She for did. Us. She brought us a little bit of Philadelphia with her. So she gave each one of us keychains. So I got a keychain that says love from philadelphia and then the rocky yo philly and then the liberty bell and then you got something that oh, i stole from you right away yes you did because <laughs> it's, it's a nice little squishy boxing glove and it says yo philly because it's rocky but yeah she stole my keychain she's still trying to steal i love it keychain. though it's, yeah. it's mine yeah. it's mine yeah. uh-uh this is mine also while waiting for jen we happen to be standing right next to the gift shop. Oh my gosh. So what am I gonna do? That's right, I went shopping. I bought the first plushie of the whole trip was a cute little cow that just says Wisconsin on his tummy. So gotta represent Wisconsin with the cheese. And then I also just picked up some little things here and there. So I picked up two keychains to go on the Christmas tree to represent our travels. Wisconsin cow here. We got a magnet that says Wisconsin. Uh, and Milwaukee and it's the skyline because I always pick up a magnet of wherever we go to put on the fridge and then just a really cool lenticular um, keychain that's got the state badger and cheese and the state bird and cows and farms and just 
Just all kinds of fun stuff. I like these little like mini lanyards, I guess, but it's got Wisconsin, it's got beer and cows and farms and Green Bay Packers and all just kinds of stuff on it. And then the last thing I grabbed was because I used to live in Green Bay, Wisconsin when I was um, from about the age of seven to nine. Loved it up there to represent from where I used to live, <laughs> my Packers. So I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm a Packers fan, but I wouldn't say I'm not a Packers fan. It's just, you know, representing. Linda and I both got little googly eyed Those eyes horse, are weird. Uh, pins, but I just love the fact that the horse is waving at you. <laughs> so while you're riding, he's like, <laughs> this doesn't really have anything to do with Wisconsin, but I picked it up at the airport because this was the airplane that we flew to Mexico on. They had miniature planes from all the different planes that fly in there. And I was like, well, that's kind of a neat souvenir to buy a plane of the airline you flew on. So I know people are going to think that's a weird pickup, but I'm weird. We were out adventuring and poor Jen and Linda didn't even have a chance to go back to the hotel because we wanted to check out a toy shop. We did ask first if they wanted oh, to go yeah, back were, to the hotel were. and they were like, no toys. Keywords, we wanted to check out a toy shop. Ah, oh, you sons oh of bitches. God, no. All right, that's it. Somebody give me a brick. Now, unfortunately, there was a note on the door that said because of uh, some medical issues, the shop had been closed temporarily, but there was evidence suggesting it had been closed for a while. And it's a shame because it looked like they had some oh really my cool gosh. stuff in there. I would have gone crazy. So with that out of the way, it was back to the hotel to let everyone get settled in mm -hmm. at long last. Settled in. Then we all met up downstairs and decided we got a bunch of us together. We were going to go out to eat. So Richard W. and his sister were kind enough to be our kind of tour guides for the weekend and took us to this really neat pub that uh, we got more cheese curds at. Yes. Don't eat it, guys. We did. And I didn't even get to finish. <laughs> But yeah, this was a really nice pub. It's a good sports bar. Mm -hmm. uh, as she said, cheese curds, but they had some other amazing food. <laughs> some amazing drinks there as well. Yeah. Uh, I think you got a new favorite at this one. In I do, thanks to Linda. She introduced me to the Malibu Bay Breeze and it's such a simple drink. I fell in love with it. And so now anytime we go into it, it's probably what I'm gonna be getting. <laughs> <laughs> the only weird thing about this place was walking to it and from it, but it was a great look at more of the downtown Milwaukee area. I really love mm -hmm. some of the architecture around there. <laughs> there was a great looking German place that, that we, we passed and we're like, oh, we're going to have to go back to that one. Yeah. yeah. You got to try your first authentic uh, brat and sauerkraut there oh, at this pub. That was wonderful. That was so good. Uh, after dinner, we went over to Insomniac Cookies and got some treats for later on. So that was very nice. Those were some good cookies. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we met up with some more people, the VGM crew and everything. I had a few drinks with them in the bar. But it was another chance to meet up with some more people that we had not yet had the privilege to meet with. And, of course, enjoy some drinks. So, yeah, it was good times. Good times all around. <laughs> So Saturday, we got up nice and early. We fell in love with a breakfast place. Just a oh quick gosh. walk down. Now, you know, the, the pub, the sports bar the night before, hey, that was fine. But when we think of a quick walk, we're thinking of someplace yes. like build a breakfast, build a burger. It was, that like was like two blocks. Uh, if that. If that, that yeah. Generous. Breakfast <laughs> was wonderful. Guys, if you ever have a chance to go there, they have amazing waffles and pancakes. Oh, I discovered so my good. other favorite drink of the weekend there, the Island Mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> so I've always loved mimosas, but this was even better because not only did it have champagne and orange juice in it, it also had peach schnapps, grenadine, and pineapple juice. Oh all my favorite drinks. <laughs> it was all out for you there. And it was really pretty too. And right across the street from that was a Dunkin' Donuts for that coffee hype. So, oh, we were in a good location. Okay. So, breakfast, caffeinated, time for the convention. Guys, please check out our MGC floor coverage and experience video for more on that, as well as the pickups to see what we found there. After the convention, we got a whole huge group of us together. We did. The society, safety. So is this part of the motif? Or and then we're just a bunch of people. It's all elaborate rooms because 
communism was a red herring. And then they bring it. <laughs> we ended up at the safe house and you went inside. And you had to give a password. Yeah, you had to give a password. But we didn't and if know you the didn't password. didn't know it, you got to make a fool of yourself and secret cameras got to got to show everyone. Yeah. yeah. We were doing some karate moves. That was that was our thing to get in. <laughs> By the way, the password is I'm, I'm not I'm not telling you. <laughs> we would make fools of ourselves. Yeah. It's good to you. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> We got in there. They initially said that it was going to be about a two hour wait. Fortunately, though, uh, after we went to the bar and got some drinks, it wasn't much longer nope. at all. Uh, maybe 20 minutes top. So yeah. that was awesome. Really do appreciate them being so accommodating and getting us seated very quickly. Unfortunately, though, I don't know if it's because it's a big group or if it was because it was busy. Uh, getting our drinks and food was a little more of an issue. Uh, guys, please understand that, you know, a lot of businesses are very short-staffed right now. So, you know, if you have an issue with the place, I mean, be respectful about it. You know, don't be a jerk. People are doing the best they can. I, in all honesty, by the time our food got out to us, I mean, it was cold. And, you know, everyone else at the table had already eaten. That's how long it took for us to get ours. We, uh, we kindly asked if we could send it back. The waitress was all too accommodating and taking it off our check. So thank you for that. We really do appreciate you working with us. Uh, but, you know, I mean, we were fine. We we actually had some cheese curds We had there. cheese curds again. <laughs> so, so, yeah, you know, we had something in our stomachs. Anyway, but the fun thing was the drinks. Yes, they had a few drinks on the menu that they had special cups or glasses that came with that drink. And, of course, I'm a sucker for those things. <laughs> So I got the one, uh, it was a beer that came in kind of a mason jar mm -hmm. with a handle design. And it says safe house code beer. And I got, which I think is the coolest glass of all of the ones that they got. It was a little highball glass that has the safe house logo on one side of it. And then the other side, there's this like crosshairs. And if you look inside the crosshairs, there's a spy trying to run away in there, Ooh. which you can't see from the outside of the glass. So it's really really cool the drink was really good but like i said we we love our highballs so i really liked my souvenir <laughs> we got a great group photo while we were there we did which was yes very cool uh, by the way there is a hidden exit to the place too if you want to keep that experience going the only problem was everyone was uh rushing out the door so fast and we did kind of want to look around and yeah there, so you know, if you go with people, keep in mind, if someone hasn't ever been there before, they may want to take yep. in the sites and really look it over, you know, maybe snap some photos and mm -hmm. stuff. So give them time to, you know, do all of that and everything because it was, it was a really cool place. I definitely would love to go back and uh, give the place a better look over. We had our big group of people head back to the hotel and uh, the majority of us, we all got together in the VGM suites. It was time to enjoy some drinks. It was time to spread the love of the peanut butter and jelly <laughs> shop. Right. World famous. <laughs> hey, I don't mind. Aren't those good brands? I got to introduce a, quite a few people to it for the first time. And obviously it was so good because we did not come home with either bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Which we don't mind. That's what we love doing. <laughs> but it was just kind of funny. Shirt, shirt versus skins. <laughs> you gotta take it off. 
him Destroy him. Check Joe for any shivs or anything. J Love! Woo! Oh, 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 Let's go! I got 500 points at J Love! Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta relax. Oh, Woo! Let's go, competition. Okay. Check me out. You got this. You ate a banana today. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm the worst at this. Where's he going? I cheat, by the way. Funny enough, you have all these gamers together. No one's playing any games. We're just all talking, enjoying the company, yep. having a blast. And, you know, I I love that part. I'm, <laughs> I'm rather partial. To you sons of bitches! You're so oh, yeah. This? We can always play games when we go home. Oh, you yeah, can't too. always hang out with these people and and joke around and you know goof off and and just share stories. With. Can I, can I take this? We don't ship fake can games I, I I yeah. and you can also take your Mary Kate at the <laughs> Woo, You put it in the wrong spot, Joe. Don't <laughs> Look, look, look at, he's actually oh. stealing he is. <laughs> there, there he is. Well, we stayed up late, but that was okay. We got up early Sunday morning for day two of the convention. What did we do before we headed to the convention? Uh, we went to our favorite breakfast place. Ah, uh, yeah. And I got another one of my island mimosas. <laughs> now we had a bigger group this time around so we needed more space at the table uh we we had a really nice waitress who took great care of us got our food out really quickly mm -hmm. took care of our drinks and everything the one problem that we had though i don't know if this is a wisconsin thing if or this a is, milwaukee uh, thing milwaukee if this is just this business but they wouldn't split up the tab they wanted to run like either the whole table or like the two tables pushed together and that was weird just because we went through the receipt, we figured up what our food cost with the taxes, we wrote it down on a napkin, and everyone handed her a card, you know, and she didn't have a problem running that, so it's like... What's the point? Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> uh, might have been easier just to, to do the separate tabs. Back to the convention. Uh, once more, please check out those videos that will show you the floor, that will show you the pickups, all kinds of fun there. When we finished day two, I'm surprised we had any uh, any feet power left. Yeah, we uh, did not want to go very far at all for dinner, so we just went downstairs to the pub. <laughs> Got cheese curds one more time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and enjoyed a very slow meal because I don't think any of us had very much energy <laughs> left. <laughs> and after that, we met up in Sean's room to carry on the revelry with some more drinks we did we brought some of our own alcohol from home so we shared the love with everybody else because i knew jen loves her moscato so i made sure to bring a bottle with us <laughs> and tony back in the day gamer showed up and we and uh, finally. i know it was the first time we got to actually <laughs> hang out with him for a long period of time that was at the convention and again no gaming was had we literally just sat around and told stories about our farm lives <laughs> yeah yeah hey if you guys ever have a chance to talk to back in the day gamer ask him about the turkey and the cake yeah <laughs> <laughs> We decided, hey, we've got people that got to catch flights in the morning. We've got to drive back in the morning. So sadly, we did have to part. And I think that's about the time when the con blues were starting to kick in yeah, a little. Definitely. <laughs> well, early Monday morning, we got up, we got all packed and everything. Uh, we were going to take Jen, Linda, and Sean to the airport. This one over here impressed those three with his Tetris skills of being able to pack. I, I think they were impressed. Actually. Pack multiple yeah. people yeah. In, and their luggage into our vehicle. <laughs> we made it over to the airport, and you know the people movers, like uh, you know, it's not the escalator; it's just the flat ones, like just the treadmill. <laughs> you know how like you get on them and you walk, so you can go double speed. We did yeah, not. Yeah, no, we we didn't. It was very clear. No one wanted. Yeah. Wanted the time to end. We uh, helped them get their luggage checked and everything, and uh, talk for as long as we could before watching them go it so. was kind of funny it was definitely kind of like parents saying goodbye to their kids because you walked sean to his gate i walked jen and linda to their gate 
and after Sean went on, you came over to me, and we literally just sat there and watched until we couldn't see them anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you crying? What's that? Are you crying? Am I crying? No, I'm not crying. You're crying. It's okay to cry. People cry. The best thing we could do to, to brighten our own spirits was once we got on the road, we stopped at the uh, Mars Cheese Castle. Castle. So this thing, what a great tourist trap. It yes, looks like a castle. It does. <laughs> our love of ring fairs means that it was right on our radar. So yep. of course we had to check and it out. And I was not going to leave Wisconsin without a very, very good supply of cheese curds. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I lived there up until the age of nine. And it was, it was definitely one of those things that I had missed my cheese curds. Because, you know, I've had imitation cheese curds here and there. And nothing is quite like a Wisconsin cheese curd. Not only food, you even found some fun stuff there. I too. did. I found a really pretty cheese spreader. I got a nice squishy cheese wedge that go with my cheddar head. So like a little stress ball, but it's a little stress ball, but in the cheese form. Yeah. Green Bay Packers with a cheese eraser <laughs> pencil to represent the cows. Another fun googly eyed. Uh, pin here. Gosh, those eyes. I know, that's crazy. fun. Just right, and they just blow all over the place. -la 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 -la. Another lovely magnet that has the castle right there, right up front. And a shot glass in the form of a milk jug. I love that thing. Yes. That is great. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy at Christmas time putting some eggnog in here because that's usually, I love eggnog, Ooh. but this is just about as much as I can handle. It gets a little creamy after that and then the last thing that i picked up that was not cheese was my i heart cheese curds yes, coffee not mug cheese curd related but it is cheese curd related <laughs> and then on the back it says a squeaky fresh only in wisconsin oh, nice. so i will be able to drink my coffee in the mornings and always think of my precious precious cheese curds now we picked up uh, some other snacks there were some sodas i don't know if they're specific to Wisconsin, so but they were fun. I didn't include those, but uh, just some like different flavored root beers, yeah. a butterscotch and a maple. Which I never thought I would like root beer in any other form, but yeah, I actually really like them. And like I said, bunches of different cheese curds for different brands. One was actually the Castle Mars brand. But the other thing that I had to leave with was some new Glarus yes. brewing. We Thank were not going to leave without that. Captain Algebra for getting me hooked. But this is the Staghorn Oktoberfest. I usually like a good Oktoberfest mm -hmm. beer. So, yeah, yeah see, cheers. <laughs> but the flavored ones, these are the ones that Cap hooks us up with, you know, different flavors. So I was curious to try the Wisconsin Belgian Red. I do like a good amber. Yeah, we do like a good red ale. I grabbed a couple more of the pear because we really yes, enjoyed we that. Yes, we did like that one. brought us at Mo Game Con. And then another new one to us, the Raspberry Tart. Which I love anything raspberry, so this is going to be really, really awesome. I was kind of hoping that even though it's out of season, since it was a touristy place, they'd have the apple one that Cap had sent um, a little while back, but no such luck. But I know Cap will probably keep an eye out for me for that when it comes back. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, again, uh, what a fun place, though. Lots of stuff to check out there, you know, merch, goodies. <laughs> And then it was a back on the road for that long, <sighs> sad drive home. <laughs> yes. The last pickup that I made of this entire trip, it was kind of a goofy, funny pickup. Oh my gosh. Because yes. on the way down there, it was one of those things we didn't need to stop, but it was like, okay, um, I'm kind of feeling my bladder's a bit full from breakfast. And there was this cute little sloth plushie in there that I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. And I kind of walked around with it for a little while, but then I was like, you know what? Now I need to save my money for plushies there. Well, 
On the way back, again, it was one of those, I had about an hour's nap, so he was driving, and I told him, I said, okay, well, I'm ready to have the car back, so, you know, pull it over at any gas station, doesn't matter. It just happened to be yeah. the same gas station. I was like, all right, here comes one, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, right. so we randomly stopped at it twice, and so I was like, it's a sign. So I bought the little sloth plushie, <laughs> because I was like, no, I meant to have him, obviously. So now I have him. <laughs> so uh, checked in with everyone and uh, made sure everybody got home safely. VGM crew, Cap, Jen, Linda, Sean, eventually, like a day later, <laughs> literally poor guy. He's got a lot of stories to tell about this trip. <laughs> but, wow. We just made it home. We literally just pulled into the garage. Let's see if there's a mad cat. Hi. 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 Hi, buddy. Hey, big boy. Hi. Hi. You missed us. Wow, what an incredible weekend. Uh, please, guys. Check out the other videos so you can see the convention itself and see our pickups, the fun stuff that we got from there. We just wanted to share this to show that, you know, don't be deterred from going to a convention that is further out. You know, make a, make a whole deal of it. Make mm -hmm. a nice road trip of it. And, you know, stop at a few places. Find some stuff. Find some favorites. Find some fun, goofy merch and everything because it's just fun to, to be on the road and travel and everything. And you never know what you'll come across, you know, like a, uh, a cheese castle. Who yeah. knew? With googly-eyed pins. But leave some comments <laughs> down below. Uh, give the video a like if you happen to like it. There's a notification bell. Please subscribe to see what kind of weird stuff we're doing when we're doing not so weird stuff like going to conventions. And, of course, don't forget to... Like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go check us out on the Retro Refresh website. Check out our clothing merchandise that we have over on Tee Public, And nerdlings, if we like it. We nerd it for New Glarus, Cheese Castles, and Cheese Heads. Cheese laws. curds. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. We met up with our buddy Sean, 8-Bit Glitch 79. <clears throat> Now we're gonna make our